The BBC has obtained disturbing videos which appear to show the massacre of unarmed civilians in northern Ethiopia. George Floyd's former girlfriend reflects on his life and their battle with addiction on day four of ex-police officer Derek Chauvin's trial. Police in Belgium clash with thousands of people attending a hoax concert in Brussels. Now, police in Brussels have dispersed a crowd of several thousand young people who had turned out for a non-existent concert. Officers on horseback and using water cannon broke up the gathering, which was announced on social media, apparently as an April Fool's Day joke. While well, some in the crowd shouted freedom and threw projectiles at police, strict COVID-19 social distancing rules in Belgium prohibit gatherings of more than four people outdoors. It is now past midnight here in the UK, so yeah, no more April Fool's Day. A judge bans the sale of trainers made by the rapper Lil Nas X after sportswear giant Nike launches a legal fight. And two YouTube stars known for carrying out pranks escape jail terms after a fake bank robbery stunt went wrong. Next, two American YouTube stars known for carrying out online pranks have pleaded guilty to charges stemming from two fake bank robberies they staged in California. The videos show the pair wearing black and running with bags stuffed with banknotes before getting into an Uber. The incident led to police drawing their guns on the Uber driver after being alerted by a member of the public. Uh, known on YouTube as the Stokes Twins, they have over 6 million subscribers who follow their pranks on the YouTube channel. Uh, this latest stunt, however, could have cost them a maximum of five years in prison had their sentences not been reduced to probation and community service after they both made guilty pleas. In the last hour or so, the Dutch Prime Minister has narrowly survived a vote of no confidence in Parliament. The opposition had accused Mark Rutte of lying when he denied trying to silence an MP who has been highly critical of the government by offering him a job elsewhere and then lying about his role in the scheme. Chile has closed its borders for the whole of April as it seeks to slow the spread of coronavirus. Health officials said a second wave of the pandemic had left hospitals close to collapse. Chile has one of the world's fastest rates of vaccination, but has seen cases spike following the Southern Hemisphere summer holidays. Major oil producing countries are increasing output in an attempt to stop fuel prices rising. The group OPEC Plus said uh, there have been improvements in the market because of global vaccination programs and government stimulus packages, but production will still remain well below pre-pandemic levels.